Hey, 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 welcome, welcome in, Cakers. So it's Sunday today, and it's uh, the last day of Team Wars, the last day of the Man Bear Pig event, and I just realized how incredibly close I am right now to getting to level 23. So I'm going to pop on to my boy Poseidon Stan here and do just one upgrade, and that's going to give us the 10 experience points we need to cross that finish line. That's going to push us over into a level 23 new kid. We'll get a health boost there. Not too shabby. Oh my, what a health boost. And we'll get a little bit of an attack buff there as well. So that's pretty darn sweet, Cakers. We'll take a quick snapshot of that for the archives. And uh, we'll jump on out of here. Thank you, Poseidon Stan. Much love, much cake to you and cake family don't forget to bring your towel we definitely got our towel here with us we got to jump into that battle arena and earn our first pvp pack of the day and we have been at work we have had a little bit of extra activity to do i got three goats outside i'm taking care of they needed some water and some grain and then of course i got the trees i needed to water and the plants outside that uh, you know require something more than sunlight to stay alive so we took care of our duties when we got home and now we're hanging out with the air conditioner making sure our couch doesn't want to get up and run across the room and since we're doing that man bear pig thing we're still going to continue to see if we can have a little bit of fun with this man bear pig deck and finish out this pvp pack we need to get ourselves five total bars and now right now we are waiting and waiting and waiting for that opponent and we get a finally we get a, an opponent has left the game screen so into the towel we go real quick and cakers into the battle arena <coughs> 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 what a juicy towel <coughs> <coughs> so again through donations and through card level ups you definitely can get that new kid character uh, to gain some experience points and to get that level up here and there so the opponent gets to start with an energy staff <coughs> and I'm going to take a puff off the towel until he plays a card He played a Medusa baby. <coughs> we'll let Kenny get the one hit. <coughs> we'll take the energy dump. <coughs> and we'll let that uh, Dougie get attracted to our Zen Cartman there for a little bit. He'll grab the bar. Now that Dougie's juiced up. He'll grab like 15 more bars. Wow, look at that Dougie just grabbing bar after bar after bar after bar so that Dougie definitely put a hurting on us the ninju comes out tries to make things a little bit more difficult for us but we'll get that witch doctor broken up there he should act as a decent body block and then of course we'll be able to suck up the life of some peoples Okay, well, he decides to use the lightning bolt on him, and that's okay as well. Randy putting in a big shot. We'll get some chickens turned into snakes here relatively quickly. And, of course, we do have the Pope waiting in the wings there. So, depending on how the situation rolls, we do have the Pope waiting out there. Unholy Combustion isn't going to help us too much with a shielded Dougie. But uh, these units here should put in a little bit of a meaty charge. And of course as the Man Bear Pig falls over, we'll get that Man Bear Pig right back out there. We'll utilize our energy staff. And of course we'll keep our units close by just in case that Douglas comes across the field. So that should stop the Douglas. Just barely, wow. What a good game. 
Good game, bro. Well played, man. So that Dougie's quite powerful, eh? But Kakers, we've put a stop to the Dougie. The man bear pig does his job. Let's get those 35 posters for our team. Seems a lot of my team is <coughs> out hanging out, doing some extra stuff this week. <coughs> and we still got a couple hundred of these little posters to collect or so. <coughs> Excuse me, Kakers, or a thousand or so. I'm not really sure how many of these posters we have left to go. <coughs> but we'll keep on grinding away at them. We'll earn our PvP pack and get ourselves some juicy purple nectar along the way as well. I've really been having fun playing with this man bear pig deck. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of like Pope this or Pope that, but uh, it really does have really good value. Uh, five point C Crips, um, Terror Racing, Tarot Racing. Uh, let's see what he puts down first. He puts the big fat ass. Let's rush Kenny on the bottom side and get a card played again. So he goes Kenny for Kenny. Uh, we will also go Butters for Kenny. And we'll put out a Witch Doctor Broken. A Witch Doctor Broken might draw an Unholy Combustion. We'll see what happens there. Oh, nice shield of Dougies along the way. See a lot of those here pretty quickly. That'll be kind of nice. Okay, there's the Unholy Combustion. And we do have our Man Bear Pig and our Pope in-house. But here comes the big shield units again. So we might see that Dougie activity one more time. Nice shielded unit there on our... Man bear pig. So let's put down the fat ass and he'll start to take away a little bit of this chicken pain that the opponent was trying to put down onto us. And in the meantime, we'll see if we can use this kale to heal up some of those units that are on the field right now. We'll get our aura stopper out here to stop those units in the background from continuing to do their thing and make units come out here and be shielded and you know throw extra chickens so the PC principles up in there making things a little bit angry for stuff let's go ahead and get that Randy rolling we'll kick Randy for Randy for Randy for Randy goodness there's some damage happening here I hope it's happening some way Akegos and we're gonna be able to utilize the Pope Timmy to bring back the SCR. And SCR Pope Timmy on that Bebe should be okay as Kale falls down. So we've got the big fat ass out here. We'll take the big fat ass. And Randy's gonna get his kneecaps knocked in by the Witch Doctor broken there. But we'll get our own Witch Doctor out and an assassin to help out here. So he power binds our Witch Doctor, which is okay. That's okay. We'll still be able to use him as a nice fighter up front, and that'll help us take down some of these other units here. Terror Racing putting up a pretty good fight. This has been a fun time. But let's get our appropriate assassins out. Let's get our shoot you in the pew 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 pew. Let's get that dude out there. Here's the fat ass again. And we could unholy combust him. But we're going to go ahead and let these units just blast away at them. And we'll wind up taking this bar just as time is about to expire or right as we go into overtime. And so we'll say good game and well played to our opponent. That was a well fought match there. I don't know, I feel kind of odd with my new level 23 new kid. I feel like I should... Uh, you know, go out and celebrate or something. Maybe spin up an extra towel or so. But we grab our 25 posters, a total of 28. Not too shabby. I might go down to the dank tank here in a little bit, hang out with uh, a couple of my cousins, see what they're up to tonight. And we get that much closer to that uh, purple nectars. So into the towel, Kakers. We've been neglecting the towel since we got home.
I've just been enjoying the cool air conditioner so much that the relaxing towel, I don't know, it might send me into imagination land. I might take a nap and <coughs> wake up watching Saddam Hussein trying to invade heaven. <coughs> so we got Kagor here. <coughs> Let's do it, Kagor. I like his fancy helmet. So Kagor shows us that he's got real big, beefy cards from the adventure area. He's also got a level 3 Medusa baby. He puts out the field stomper as well. He plays real forward heavy because he's got a lightning bolt, he's got a fireball, and if he gets over here while I'm playing super stall, he can get a bar for me and then try to play defensive mode for the rest of the game so that way he can prevent me from getting across the field type thing. But he just used his combustion card there and we've got Man Bear Pig and Pope Timmy in hand right now so we're gonna let Medusa Bebe do a little bit more damage to our Zen Cartman while we get up to 10 energy and then we're gonna play our Man Bear Pig. Now that's gonna give us an opportunity to boost up our man bear pig with our kale here. Of course a snake is going to come out, poison us up a little bit. Okay, so the big arrow storm takes care of our air unit. But we've still got man bear pig racing away towards new kid. And he did get a lock before the traditional units came out to try to prevent him from taking this bar. So we're going to tie it up and grab ourselves a bar. And we'll be able to poke Timmy the unit back onto the field. And that'll do pretty good for us. And of course the Hermes Kinney will help give us an energy boost here by taking care of those weenies that were helping out that dog poop. Um, we got to play into energy staff here pretty quickly. So he brings a man bear pig of his own, of which I'll, un I'll unholy combust that. We don't want that on the field. That's a pretty good energy trade for us. So we'll go ahead and take it, and then we'll use this opportunity after the parrot lands to get Medusa out so she can help with the flank on the outside being a, a nice archer. We'll use this opportunity to get the energy staff up and running just in case, uh, you know, a big clear card comes out again. Okay, see, there we go. But we'll be able to get Randy onto the field now, and he'll help us out with our range units. They'll be protected. Uh... You know, Randy's a good guy. Good game, brother. And a well played to you. Always, my friend. So we'll get back into that battle arena. See, I don't know. People who I don't fight too often might think my scary level 23 and my, you know, big level 4 legendary cards, like, these are legit the only ones. Um, and most of them are still well on their way to being usable in the legendary arena at all. So this is... One of the better decks I can build with the cards I have. Um, and of course I just literally hit the level 23 like 10 minutes ago. So some people might uh, take my level 23 as a badge of honor that it really isn't just yet. Uh, hopefully this season though that a little bit more HP will help us get to that 7400 battle arena. It's a tough crawl though. You got to get nearly into the top 100 to be able to get into that area. But we're going to keep on trying our best and having our fun and doing what we do, Cakers. So here we go two rare cards Dark Mage Craig and the Captain Wendy. So not a bad haul just for getting in there and doing our work. Let's take a quick look at our event. We have five team packs here. I didn't put in a lot of time yesterday due to some other constraints, but it uh, looks like we need a couple thousand, so um, you know what, Kakers? I'm going to buy a PvP pack here, and let's go right back into the battle arena and have a little bit more fun. So we go into that towel as we seek out this battle arena opponent. Let's have a complete repeat of the first few matches that we've played here during the day as we've gotten home from work. 
Let's do that. Let's go get ourselves some quick wins, some nice lockers, and some more purple nectars. So, Angry Geek. Love the outfit. The glasses, a lot of folks are wearing those new outfit glasses, and it's, uh, it, I, I dig them. They're charming. They look pretty slick. So we'll play the energy staff against the pillow man there. He brings out the hook hand parrot. It hits me in my hook hand energy staff. So let's go ahead and get Zen Cartman rolling now that we're at 10 energy. That'll get our opponent a little close to us, but we should still be okay. We'll put our temporary, are you gonna do something, an unholy combust something gal right there. And we'll bring out Randy as well, because Clyde got a little closer than I wanted him to. And I guess a little, a level 4 pillow man hits a little bit harder than I thought he did. Oh goodness, Kagers. Um, level 6 pirate ship Timmy. Beast, look at that, huge damage. Followed into unholy combustion. But that gives us opportunity now with Pope Timmy in hand to be able to utilize some good units here on the field and maybe take a bar or two from our opponent. So we'll use the Zen Cartman here as well. And hopefully Zen Cartman will die from blast damage here before either of these two units do. And that'll still then give us another opportunity to utilize that Pope Timmy if we need to. Uh, I, actually, Cakers, it doesn't look like we're going to need to. It looks like our opponent has stopped playing cards. So we'll go ahead and be humble, and we'll say good game and well played to you, my friend. And we'll take that victory, and we'll rush back into that battle arena and have a good time. So worst, worst enemy to this deck is Cock Magic, obviously. Tremendous value in Cock Magic. Uh, quite good value in Fireball, depending on the level. And... Um, unfortunately, typically for the opponent, if they choose to take out that uh, Medusa Bebe or even the Randy with a clear card, and then you have the combination of the Man Bear Pig and the Pope Timmy in hand, it really gives you an opportunity to put some big beefy cards out there on the field that have staying power that can get you, you know, across the, the field there to get you some bars in return. So let's jump right back into that battle arena if we can. And, of course, into the towel, we must go into the towel. This towel is almost gone already. Oh, boy. Let's just jump into it and do it. <coughs> so, Tum 2. I'm not sure who this is. I've been facing a lot of opponents that um, I've, I've uh, not faced before. So we'll send up our Hermes Kinney, and we'll play that into Energy Staff as our opponent sends across a Windy. We'll let them decide if they want to continue their push here. So they send a good range unit behind the Windy, and oh my, yes please. So we get Hook Hand to the face. And we get Randy on the field. We get our nice Witch Doctor Broken onto the field. And we'll get our Roomba out there as well to help take care of the gal. And now our opponent could be holding a sweet card, like again, a Cock Magic or something like that. So we're going to sit back for a moment here. He farts on us. So let's send up our our butters so see there we go into cock magic and see I'm still okay with that as well because as you can see we have pretty good cards left in hand here so even though our chickens are all taken care of we should be able to utilize these cards for at least a few moments to get back across the field and with Pope Timmy in hand a uh, good opportunity to see a lot of the cards taken care of so <laughs> I love it he uses the Duggy in desperation. Always a good time. Those Duggies can be powerful, as you saw in that first match. Jeez, I was like down to 8 hit points or whatever. So, of course, the DSR comes in and does a little damage to the units. But we'll send up the Hermes Kinney. And we'll uh, 
see what happens here. So Hermes Kenny falls. His death animation is over with. So that's good for us here. We'll be able to pull that big man bear pig right back out again. And if he's got that combus card, even if he's got the chicken card here, this could be extremely huge value, like I say. Worst nightmare is the chicken deck. So it could be extremely huge value. Let's play that energy staff and look at that value. Just out the wazola value. But let's see if the chickens can put in a little bit of damage before the butters gets done. Here comes the Dougie. Oh, he's going to get a bar. You mean person. And he wants to even try to come in and power push with the shielded canny for a bar. I got to love it. I would do the same thing. You see an opportunity to get in there and catch that win. Get in there and catch that win. A good game and a well played to you, Tum2. I enjoyed it. And I like that you had fun times. And that you got to use your emotes. It's all about having fun in the game. And tappa tappa the buttons. Always a good time. So, Cakers. That's 24 more for our team. That's a good time. Let's jump into that purple nectar now, I think. We can do that, yeah? Okie dokie, then. So let's jump into that purple nectar. What do we got here? The cash monies. Of course, some more posters. And the materials we all like to see. Our final battle tokens for the day. Though we are finished with the battle tokens. Ooh, cakers. We got ourselves an epic or a legendary here. Let's see what we got at the end. We get, oh wow, that's even cooler. Look at that. We get to level up that sexy nun, Randy, finally. Now, of course, you see we're using the Sare, the six element Randy, but it's always nice to get in there and level up those other cards as well. As you see, just from leveling cards previously, donating cards to teammates, we got ourselves up here to 23 as well. So we're going to get 400 experience just for clicking the level up button. So that has nothing to do with like spending any of these mats to get any more of these materials up. Or to get any more of this experience up rather. So definitely, let's see, we should be able to take him to max. And though we like to hold our materials for cards we're working on or utilizing, I think I can maybe have some fun with a sex scene on Randy, despite the powerful level four amazingly randy we have right now and of course the level four sixth element randy um pocahontas randy still at level four as well just got boosted so uh, it's kind of hard to rank the randys but wow i think that's my yes yeah that that's my first level five epic wow how about that so a level 23 new kid and a level five epic card wow wow so maybe you know if we have a mystic event where sexy nun randy is included i will be able to boost up some of my other epic cards you know the, the, with the similar you know shape and color wow i'm super excited i'm like lost for words and my towel is empty so cakers i, I have to I have to fill the towel again. Give me one moment, if you would, please. That's the first time in my South Park Phone Destroyer career that I have an epic card that says zero, and then there's a little dashy doohickey thing there, and then it says 350 after that. That means I have a level 5 epic card. I feel like great leaps and big hurdles are being taken care of here in the last several weeks playing South Park Phone Destroyer, so a good, nice, year-long grind, which has its own special rewards along the way as your character growth occurs, and then, you know, some nice, good rewards as you get into that anniversary area and then continue playing. You gotta grind the game, I guess, Cakers, but if it's fun for you, I guess you won't call it a grind. Maybe you'll still call it a grind, but uh, you'll have a smile on your face while you're doing it, at least. But hey, towels, we just got that ready. Put 
This one's to you, sexy nun Randy. The blue banana OG. <coughs> sexy nun Randy. <coughs> we'll throw him into a deck soon enough. <coughs> I mean, easily he can <coughs> go into this deck where Sarah is at, but I think Sarah holds just a little bit of a better edge. Although Sexy Nun Randy's minions are quite a bit better than the Sair minions. 166 attack, 113.09. Hmm. What are you at down here? Oh, goodness, no. Yeah, we're going to still keep that right there. The Slap vest Fest versus the Kick Fest. We'll still keep the Slap Fest going. But, Cakers, what an exciting time. A level 5 Sexy Nun Randy. We made it happen for the first time, a level 5 card. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'll be pushing my luck right here if I keep playing right now, Kaker. So I think I'm going to go down and hang with my cousins for a bit. Um, they've got me into the Game of Thrones thing, and I'm pretty sure that's coming on soon. So I'm going to go hang out in the Dank Tank with them and use that towel and powwow with them for a bit. But uh, we'll come back later on today and continue helping our team grind out this event and, uh, you know, see if we can get that much closer to the 7,400 mark. Uh, we might actually be able to cross that tier, especially during this event time while uh, folks, uh, I guess you can say, are playing kind of off-branded decks or whatnot. Maybe I'm the only person playing an off-branded deck with the man bear pig because we're not on a card stack I guess so people can play whatever they want eh? so I don't know I guess just having four level or three level four legendaries in your deck uh, no matter which they are can help you have personal growth if you just play with them and stick with them I suppose so cakers maybe we'll hit that 7400 mark and we'll see what happens after that but until then cakers you know I'm sorry for the long ramble and video here i hope you enjoyed the matches always want to tell you don't forget to bring your towel definitely let's do that powwow when we come back on the flip side we'll do that a little later this evening and until then cakers rusty whore always tell you peace 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 peace